you got there, Bob? Got a FedEx package. Oh, ah, something from. There's a Seth sticker. <laughs> Boom, dude. 2018 top loan officer, Seth Goldstar. And that is. There's like 14 or 1,500 people, I think, that uh, loan officers that participate in this program. We're number one, baby. Boom. Got uh, number one loan officer for Seth Goldstar. Nice. Number one. Number one. Wow. 2018 top loan officer. It's pretty good. Yeah. Got a little, uh, even a little trophy. Right. You get some stars. Yes. Yeah, so a good job, guys. That's awesome. So that, there's like 14 or 1500 loan officers uh, that are in that program. That's pretty. So we got number one. Pretty pretty awesome. Boom. Team Bob Mortgage. We ain't even on the tip of the ice. Oh, yeah, we're scratching the surface at this point. I mean, they better get ready. Okay, so all of our One Minute Mortgage Solutions and other videos, like short, uh, like micro content, we're going to convert with Spanish subtitles. So that way we can obviously reach uh, the, the Spanish community, Hispanic community. Okay. Like when I post something, I always write my own personal comments about what that video means, right? And it's always like, I mean, it's not going to be, it's not long, like, you know, two pages worth of stuff. It's like, you know, 140 characters, or it could be, you know, um, a couple, uh, you know, 300 characters or whatever. But I need you to take that English version and convert it into Spanish, because if I'm posting that with Spanish subtitles, it needs to, that heading needs to be in Spanish as well. Yeah. Cool. Next, man. Now, how did you guys connect y'all? You, you, how did that happen? Through my broker, Chuck. Okay. Why, sure. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Chuck. Yeah, he's awesome and quite the connector. And we've known him for many years. He's yeah. Good egg. Yeah. Why don't you, Bob, kind of share with her a little bit about our well, story? Yeah, we had a really good conversation early on. Um, and I think, I mean, for me, it was just really having her, you know, come on in. I'll show you everything that we kind of talked about on the phone, get you to meet the team. Because what I understood was from you and from our initial call, what I took from it was look, you need certainty. Uh, when you talk about a, words was like you just need a, a loan officer that has the history relationships whatever it is they do that they do what they do and you don't need to know all the crap right you should not know as much as you know right now to tell you the truth I'm like well there's a balance and a harmony that we have to live in as a, as a in a partnership to where I want you to know enough mm -hmm. to where you are a good voice and a sound voice for your client so they feel comfortable with you they trust you right because if you all if, explaining like we need to submit this doc form number D, whatever. No, you know. that's, yeah, that, that, like no, you're, you're way down, blah, you're way down blah, in the weeds blah, in that area. Yeah. I need you up here and then have confidence that when you defer it to the finance team, right, that you're even looking better mm -hmm. by making that referral back, right, or saying, hey, that's a great question. Let me get the team on the phone and they can handle it for you or let me get them to reach you. And then you know it's actually going to happen, so the execution. So we talked about education and communication, execution on the phone. It was just really about wanting to come in, meet everybody, meet the team, see kind of what we do, how we do things. Um, and I'll show you kind of what all we actually talked about on the phone because we had a good 15, 20-minute conversation. You know, on the, the mortgage side, I kind of talk about the, the three things. Uh, the educational side, you know, as you guys, as, as you grow and stuff like that, I mean, I do, I mean, like, come in and I can teach, like, like I just did one year today, financing the next generation of home buyers. And it's just all the different programs that are available. And my job is to make sure that you know the tip of the iceberg, mm -hmm. right? So that the client feels confident that you know a little bit about a lot of things, mm -hmm. but then give you confidence that I know everything about all those things, right? When we talk about the financing side, to be able to then refer them over, I think that's important. But it, you know, it goes to your agents. I want to make sure they know, yeah. right? Because a lot of times they're in conversations, and I've had agents shut off a conversation. I'm like, why are you shutting that conversation off? There is an opportunity for that person to be able to buy. It's so Ritz Carlton uses that radar on, antenna up type philosophy, where the client is telling you something without having to tell you something. You just have to be really, really good at hearing between the lines, so that you can say, I know what you want and let me get it over to you, right? And so we talk a lot about that, that, uh, that in, those, in those, uh, those classes, those events. I do, I've done thousands of them, yeah. okay? It's you and I, yeah. that's all you need.
they don't really care about title. They don't care about the whole inspection. They don't care about anything else. No. They don't care about anything. Not, they, not, they, they, they do care. Okay. They do care about it. But I've, I've done it over 26,000 of these things, yeah. right, in loans. So it, it, a home buying event is really about creating hope, and it's about showing them that there is a path. You're not trying to sell the deal. You're not trying to put all the pieces together right then and there because that's not what they're there for. They're there to have an experience. They're there to learn. They're there to have see that there is hope and that it doesn't necessarily, it's not a plan. It's here's, I want to create the hope, but then I want to lay it out for you. Okay, so you don't have the perfect credit. That's great. Here's how this happens. Oh, right, here's how this happens. Here's oh, how it works, right? <laughs> and then, you know, if you're ready to go, here's this process, right? So it's just showing them the things that are available to them. You create that event and it's more about the experience. You give them a reason to come other than calling it a seminar because I mean, I won't even go to a seminar, right? You give me an, ex an event, an experience, then I'm maybe in for, you know, an hour. Thank you guys so much for your time. Oh I really appreciate gosh, it. Yes. No, Do I, you have well, a card? Me? Yes. Yeah. So he's um, fluent in Spanish yeah. and Portuguese. Yes. Yeah. So, That'd and I, I have your English. Yeah, I'm good with that. So is Leo. Chris is good with that. You can do some pig Latin. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Bob Nassenhaj, you got it. <laughs> See ya. Oh.